Hey guys, so I am doing another get ready with me and I'm gonna be updating you guys on some big changes that have happened. Um, I'm doing a get ready with me because it's honestly a lot easier to talk while I'm doing my makeup than to just talk in front of the camera and do nothing. Um, I also haven't done my makeup in a very long time. This is probably the second time I've done it in like a month. I'm gonna start with concealer. Um, so, as you can probably tell from the last time I made a video, which was many, many months ago in January, <laughs> it's been 10 months since then, since the last time I made a video, or was it February? You can see that the background has changed and that's because we actually moved. We bought a place in March. We did a lot of renovations on it and we moved in in July. So it took us a while to get it all done. We did a decent amount of it by ourselves or Justin did a decent amount of it by himself. Uh, I kind of wish that I took before and afters of the place because now it looks so different. It looks completely different than what it was when we first bought it. Yeah, I wish we took a video because it would have been really cool to see just how different it looks now. We changed the flooring, we painted the place. Um, well, when I say we, it was really mostly Justin, but we painted all the walls white before they were this very strange old pink color. Yeah, we changed all the flooring. Some parts of the floors were like wood tiles and other parts of it were this old orange wood and other parts of it were tile. We just all switched it out. We painted the kitchen cabinets. That was like really annoying. And yeah, the place is looking more like our own, our own home now, but there's still things that I want to do with the place. Actually, that's one of the things that like I feel like excites me the most these days. It's like home decor and just making this place our home in general. It's very hard for me to talk while I'm doing my eyebrows. But yeah, we're also trying to do it all on a budget because we don't wanna put in too much money into this space. And also I feel like it's just kind of fun to do it within a budget like it kind of forces you to be resourceful there's some DIY projects that I kind of want to try my hand at and I've never done anything like it but like I said like this is something it's not really the process of doing these DIY projects that excites me but more so what I hope the outcome would be and what the place would look like or if you hear that it's raining pretty hard outside um, yeah it's pretty close uh, I wouldn't say it's close Maybe like 50% to where I want it to be. But yeah, there's a lot of different things that, things I want to get and things that I want to do. Like I want to put some molding on the walls. And if I actually do do it, I'm going to record it because I feel like that will be a big accomplishment for me because it's something that I've never tried before. And it would be cool to see if I can actually do it if it turns out the way that I would like it to. But the other, but the bigger news, the major big change is that we added another member to our family. Um, it's raining really hard. But that actually kind of explains why I was gone for so long because actually in the New Year's resolutions video that I made. I was actually, I already knew I was pregnant at that time, but I wasn't morning sick yet. But my morning sickness probably started just maybe one or two weeks later and it was bad. It was very, very bad. I had morning sickness with Caleb, but this was just a completely different level. Like I'm glad I never had like hyperemesis or anything like that, but I was throwing up like two or three times a day even on you know anti-nausea medication i felt like i couldn't do anything except that's a horn 
from across the street because they're doing construction next door or across the street from us. I think it was like maybe two months. I felt like I couldn't do anything except just lie on the couch. And it was really hard for everyone. I feel like I barely was able to take care of Caleb. Like I barely was able to. And I'm just really glad that we were staying with my in-laws because otherwise I think it would have been really hard for Justin and Caleb. Morning sickness was basically debilitating and I couldn't do anything besides basically survive for those two months, two or three months. So obviously I wasn't making any YouTube videos because I was just miserable the whole day and then I think, you know, it kind of just got away from me. And I don't know now how often I would make these videos, but I feel like it's something that I enjoy doing. So when I have the time to do it, I will do it. And it's interesting because for me, I'm not a huge fan of sitting in front of the camera and actually recording the videos. But I feel like there are some interesting things and topics that I want to talk about and that I feel like I would be interested in sharing and hearing what other people have to say. But really, the part that I enjoy the most is like the editing and the creating the thumbnails and stuff like that because I like, I guess, the more artistic part of it. Oh, if you hear that, that's uh, our new member. I don't know if she'll go back to sleep, we'll see. So we had a girl and her name is Nora and she was born early last month in a very unexpected and crazy way, which is like a video I can make. Maybe the next video I'll make, I'll talk about how it all happened because it was pretty uh, crazy. It was pretty intense. Just a sneak preview. I ended up doing it without an epidural. Eh, not by choice. But yeah, so it, she's a little over a month now. So far it's been good. Good in some ways, easy in some ways, and hard in some ways. So I think like one of the best things so far is that she is such a good eater a good eater, a good nurser, because I struggled so hard breastfeeding Caleb for like the first few months and that's because he ended up having a tongue tie. But with Nora, we got into the groove of things just a few days after she was born and I've had like no, I've had no pain nursing her, which was a big problem with Caleb. And she nurses very quickly, like in like 10 to 20 minutes. Whereas with Caleb, like I would nurse him for 40 minutes, an hour sometimes and that has made such a big difference i think in how we've been able to handle everything it's like so interesting because i actually feel way less tired now with a newborn and a toddler than i did when i just had caleb i feel much better because at night now i know how to nurse her while laying down like with Caleb I didn't know how to do that until he was maybe like four or five months old but now because you know I learned all those skills with Caleb I can just use them now so at nighttime I nurse her lying down so I'm still able to like get some rest and stay half asleep and then since she eats pretty quickly once I'm done with everything feeding her burping her changing her diaper if it needs to be changed. Okay, I'm gonna go get her. I'm going to try to do makeup one-handed with a newborn in my hand. We'll see if she goes back to sleep or not because she should be sleeping, but we'll see. And maybe me talking will lull her back to sleep. Yeah, by the time I'm done with everything with her, changing her diaper, you know, swaddling her and all that, I've been awake for maybe like 40 minutes and with Caleb, everything would take me an hour and a half. So I'm getting actually, I think a lot more sleep now than I did when I was pregnant or not when I was pregnant, when Caleb was a newborn. And I think also just like experience, you get faster at these things, you are a little bit more confident. And yeah, honestly, the transition from one to two in that way has been really easy. Her being able to nurse well 
it's such a huge blessing especially because i know what it's like to struggle a lot with that and not just the physical part of breastfeeding but also just the mental emotional part when you feel like you're not getting it it can be very wearing on the mind because you're just wondering what you're doing wrong you okay i don't think this is gonna happen Okay, finally got her sleeping again. Um, I think I was saying that in terms of Nora, taking care of her has been really, honestly, like, easy. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think a big part of that is having done it already, but also the nursing part. And then also, we still live really close to my in-laws and they've been helping us a lot. Caleb will go over there a few days out of the week um, so then it's just me and Nora at home and I'm able to catch up on like other things around the house and it's so funny because like when Caleb was a newborn like I would get super overwhelmed if I was if it was just me and him alone at home but now with just Nora at home I'm like oh this is so like easy and like my mother-in-law my grandma used to tell me like oh at this age like when they're a newborn it's the easiest to take care of them. And at the time that I had Caleb, I like did not understand that at all, but now I do. And I think a big part of it is because like mentally, you're just not as scared anymore. You have the experience of you kind of like know what you're doing and know what to expect. Yeah, I think the hardest thing about transitioning from one to two so far has just been like juggling things when both of them are at home because even though Caleb loves his sister like so much, I think, you know, he's still having a hard time adjusting to the fact that there's this like new human in our family and not only is she new, but she's, you know, I'm breastfeeding her every three hours. So like during the times that I'm feeding her, I can't like be with him or I'm not readily available to him. And I think, you know, it's hard for him because for the longest time, or like for the past few months, especially since we moved out, it's a lot of the times it's just been me and him all day. And it's just me being able to give him my full attention for the whole day. And now it's like, I feel like my attention is always split between the two. And obviously Justin helps and everything, but you know, Caleb still sometimes just wants me and obviously no one else can breastfeed Nora, so that's kind of been hard and I think it's been hard for me to see Caleb sometimes struggling, but I'm trying to like process through my own emotions about it so that I can help Caleb go through it better too and I don't want my own fear to affect the way that I react towards him. Like I was obviously expecting him to have a hard time because I think it's a really, I mean, I think every first child really has a tough time transitioning and, you know, that can manifest itself in like lots of different ways. Yeah, honestly, it is hard for me, I feel like, to see my firstborn struggling in the ways that he's struggling, but I want to, I feel like I have to deal with my own emotions, my own worries regarding all that so that when I'm helping him through it, it's about helping him and I can focus on him rather than focusing on all like these inner thoughts or inner worries. But yeah, I, having children really grows your capacity because yeah, like when I, when it was just Caleb as a newborn, I was so overwhelmed and now with just a newborn, I'm, I'm like, oh, this is like so easy, but with the two of them now, I still do feel very overwhelmed. And I remember it took me a long time to get adjusted to taking care of Caleb on my own. It took me a long time to not feel overwhelmed when it was just me and him. I feel that now. Like I feel that I'm very easily overwhelmed, not just by like taking care of them, but by the idea of just having the two of them together. And I know that it's gonna take time for me to adjust to taking care of the both of them and it's going to take time for my capacity to grow um, but I'm really 
thankful and grateful for our family who's helping a lot with the transition. Yeah, because I know that that's not something that everyone has and I'm very grateful because it gives me the space and the time to be able to like adjust without getting so overwhelmed that it kind of like affects the way that I interact with my kids. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for my capacity to grow and to not feel so overwhelmed by having the two of them and hopefully that happens soon even though I know it probably won't because with Caleb like I feel like it took me like a full year to feel like not overwhelmed when it was like just me and him I mean part of that I think is because like everything is like new but I don't know what I'm saying right now I guess I'm doing my makeup so I'll just do all those just do highlights um, I am using a decent amount of new products since the last time that I filmed to get ready with me so if you're interested in what I'm using I will have it all linked in the description box below but I think that's it yeah I haven't done my makeup in forever so it feels very strange and also it's funny because before the pandemic, like, and when I had Caleb, just Caleb, doing my makeup would be like, oh, like, my form of self-care because I really enjoyed it. But now I feel like after the pandemic and all that, like, I'm just not, I rarely put on makeup. So it, I don't get as much, like, fun or joy out of it anymore. Like, I don't feel like it's, like, I actually kind of, like, think it's annoying now sometimes. Like, if we're not going out, I feel like it's kind of just, like, annoying to put my makeup on. I feel like my form of self-care now is like doing my hair. Yes, I still enjoy doing my hair. I like having my hair done even if I'm at home. But yeah, I hope that I will be able to do more videos in the future and that I won't let my awkwardness stop me from doing it. Yeah, like maybe doing some videos about, um, well, I wanna definitely tell my birth story so that I don't forget it either because it was just like, such a crazy kind of like funny story to look back on and I don't want to forget what happened. Um, maybe do some videos about what we're doing around our home because I feel like that's something that I really enjoy and it's something that I would like to document and I'm kind of, well I am really regretful that we haven't documented it so far because I feel like this place has changed so much already from like the time that we bought it and we changed all like the major things like the paint, the baseboards, the flooring and then also like the big changes with getting the furniture that I liked into the space. Um, I mean, there's still some pieces that I want to put in and there's still a lot of finishing touches, but even just like the big difference of like switching the couches out and finding like a seating arrangement and finding plants that like work with the space, it's already changed like so much. So even though I didn't record the past, changes that have been done if i can record the future changes that are going to be done i think that it will still be a big change and a big difference so i want to have that to look back on and then maybe just some other videos about like topics that i've wanted to talk about since i started this channel things like things that asian parents do that i won't be doing with my kids which i feel like could be kind of controversial so Anyways, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos from me, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys have been up to. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be sooner than nine or 10 months. Okay, bye. Hello, YouTube. Oh, it's really awkward to be in front of the camera.